Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary here today. Got another 100 plus for you on the map Plaza. And this was before I reset my stats. And I think what I'm going to do with that is play a lot more league play and try and get a lot more uh, league play gameplays for you guys to try and switch things up from the normal domination to kill confirm, get some hard points, search and destroy, and capture the flag in there. Try and get a nice balance of everything. But, um... In this, in this gameplay, like I said, I think I dropped 115, I want to say. It's somewhere up there. It's it's more than 110 kills. And I'm obviously using the PDW with the suppressor. And I'm not really sure what else is on it, to be honest with you. This was so long ago. And um, what I wanted to talk about today, the main commentary topic. And I wish that you guys could feel my room right now. My room is literally a sauna. It is hotter than Africa. I feel like I'm in the Mohawken desert with the fucking tarantulas and scorpions and stuff and speaking of tarantulas i'm gonna go on a bunch of tangents so i just get them out of the way speaking of tarantulas there's this new tarantula that they found in sri lanka and it's as big as a human's face and it's super fucking fast so if you hate spiders i'm sorry but i hate spiders too and i heard about that thing and i looked up pictures of it and it literally looks like satan I don't know. I mean, if you want, if you're interested, just go type in Google Sri Lanka new spider or some shit like that, and it should pop up. And uh, prepare to be terrified. Basically, it's not really that scary looking. It's just a regular tarantula, and it's white. But I'm gonna stop talking about it because I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But what I wanted to talk about today, I have a special commentary topic picked out for you guys today. I like to try and you know, whenever I get a good commentary topic, put it behind a pretty long gameplay, just like this one. It'll be a full 10 minute one. So. What I wanted to talk about is something that's happened recently in the Major League Gaming scene, or the MLG scene, and that is the switching and changing of teams and rosters. Now, I will never understand why people switch rosters so much. Like, once in a while is cool, you know. If somebody, if you just want to drop one person and pick up another player, you know, you got to be successful and you want to be successful. And dropping a whole team or leaving a team is not the way to do it. And people seem to think that they're going to have more chances or better opportunities with different assortment of players. And, I mean, it can help. It can help if you join a team with better players on it. But the biggest thing is teamwork, communication, and chemistry. The biggest things. I should Like, people, skill will only get you so far. Chemistry can make skill great. And then the will to win and the will, you know, preparation and all that can also help. So there's so many factors that go into picking a team, and people only look at skill. I mean, obviously they have to be a pretty skilled player to be on a pro team, and they're going to have to be able to keep their weight. But I like to relate it back to how girls choose guys. So you can either have that hot supermodel dude, or you can have the well-rounded nice guy. Who's not bad look? You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't have to be super, super skilled to get picked up by a good team. It's it's really a whole bunch of different things. And a teammate, uh, a person, not a teammate, a person that I like to um, sort of align with this is Sensor. Now, Sensor, you know, he's a good player. He's not one of the best players in the game, but he's still like a pretty good pro. And the thing about him that makes him a good teammate to team with is. His absolute drive and hunger to win. That kid wants to win more than anybody I have ever seen on Call of Duty. He is so hungry to win always. And it, it really is. It's pretty crazy how much he wants to win. And you can really tell. And he's a good player. And he just doesn't get picked up by a team. I don't, you know, I don't get it. But uh, just a player like that. Like, you know, good skill. Wants to win so bad that at an event, you need that player at an event that's going to be hyped up and you know jumping out of their seats and talking shit to the other team you need that player to keep emotions you know going strong and keep your team in the game whenever they're losing whenever something big happens just get up and start yelling so the other team knows that they screwed up and then you get that extra momentum going into uh, the next map the next hill even for hard point the next gunfight whole bunch of stuff having somebody that can do that stuff helps you see what i'm saying it's just so many different things and people only look, they're so narrow-minded, they only look at skill. Like, is this person a top five submachine gun player? Yes? All right, let's pick him up. I don't give a hell what his communication's like, what his personality in person like, online is like. Can I get along with this person? Does this person want to win as much as I do? You know, there's just there's so many things. And 
the reason why I'm doing this commentary is because lately in the MLG scene, there have been so many team switches and team changes. It's been absolutely ridiculous. A couple notable ones. I mean, the top three from the COD Championships stayed together. Us, Fariko, and Envious, we're staying. We're all staying together. And uh, that, that would really surprise me if any of the other, if the other two were gonna were to break up. It would just really blow my mind because obviously we all got first, second, and third. So why why would you switch anything up anyway? But complexity. They got fourth. They they dropped a player, and I don't know what happened there. But Quantic, they were a pretty good team. They had a disappointing event at the COD Championships, but I thought that they were still a pretty solid team. They basically made a full roster change. Like, they, they did some crazy shit over there. And I, I just don't get it. You know, and it's not even about winning and being successful to not make a team change. The fans that watch the games and the people that, you know, watch on MLG's live streams and Call of Duty live streams, those people want to be familiar with teams. They want to know the stories behind the team. They want to know what the team is like. And that's why Optic is so great because, you know, we rarely have team changes. I mean, Rambo was about it. I mean, in Black Ops 1, there were a couple as well. But MW3 had the same roster the whole way through. Black Ops 2 had the whole roster until Rambo couldn't compete in a big tournament that we wanted to play in. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's just being loyal to a couple of your teammates can go a long way. And our chemistry, my, my and Will's and uh, Joey's chemistry is so good that we could pick up basically any player and, you know, bring them into our team and just be good chemistry-wise because we already have that chemistry between the three of us. I'm not saying we'd ever drop, you know, Nate Shot because that won't happen either. But I'm just saying, like, us three together have so much chemistry because we have been loyal to each other. We haven't left whenever we've had a bad tournament. For example, Dallas. Even though we got fifth, that was a bad tournament in our eyes. And we worked at it, and we ended up getting third at the COD Championships. We could have gotten first at the COD Championships. We played Fariko very close, a lot closer than I would have hoped to play them. Like, we played them so damn close. And, you know, breaking up would just be the dumbest thing ever. And the fans, like I said, they want to be familiar with the teams that you're playing with, the teams that have had stories, rivalries, us versus complexity. Uh, that was a huge match at the COD Championships as well as MLG Dallas, you know, it, it's just the fans want to see consistency as well, and I understand that, you know, me being in the scene for about two years now, I understand that fans like to see teams stick together, and obviously you're always going to have your shit talkers and stuff, but the supporters of your team want to see that team stick together, unless they have an absolute hatred for a player, which usually doesn't ever happen. But if it does, you know, still, they usually want to see teams stick together. Even if it's just a group of three guys, they want to see them stick together. And that really helps the MLG viewership whenever people want to tune in and see their favorite teams. It's like, you got to build a brand for your team to get fans to want to watch your games. And that's why Optic always has a lot more viewers on their streams. We built, we built the YouTube, and then we built the MLG side, and we have a lot of fans now, a lot of loyal fans. We love you guys. And we get, like, a lot of viewers whenever we're on an MLG stream or whenever we're streaming on Twitch.tv. You can just see that we have more viewers than everyone because we've stayed together and we've been loyal to each other and we've built a fan base around Optic Gaming, the brand. You see what I'm saying? It's just people people don't stick together and it really baffles me and I really don't know why. I really will never know why. The teams don't stick together. It helps the community. It helps themselves. And I don't know what else it helps. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. But if you enjoyed this gameplay, guys, make sure you leave the like button. Favorite if you really enjoyed it. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, and give me any constructive criticism that you have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow me on my Twitter. It'll be in the description below. But as always, this was your boy Optic Scumpy. Peace.